at the end of this video you will be able to explain the fully associative mapping technique explain how a memory address block is divided state advantages and disadvantages of the technique and solve fully associative mapping questions what is fully associative mapping the memory address requested by the processor is compared to all the lines in the cache memory simultaneously, hence where it got its name from. Whereas a block can only be mapped from main memory to a single line of cache with direct mapping, fully associative maps a block to any line in cache. When a request comes in for a memory address, cache controller searches all of the tag fields in parallel for a match. If a tag exists, a cache hit occurs and it looks at the last two bits to determine the position. If the tag does not exist, a cache miss occurs. If the cache is full, a replacement algorithm is used, such as least recently used, first in first out, least frequently used, or random. With fully associative mapping, there is only a tag and a word. When data is read from main memory, a block is mapped to any line in cache. The tag S is used to identify the block and the word W is used to identify an address within that block. Here are some formulae we can use to find out various characteristics about cache which is using fully associative mapping. The address length, the size of tag, the size of the word, the number of addressable units, the block size, and the number of blocks in main memory. Here is an example of fully associative mapping. Let's say a cache memory can hold 64 kilobytes and data is transferred between main memory and the cache in blocks of 32 bytes each. The main memory consists of 256 megabytes. Show the format of main memory addresses in a fully associative cache scheme. Addressing is done at the byte level. To find the number of bits for the word, you must find how much bits can uniquely identify the 32 byte block per line. A block per line has 32 bytes, which in base 2 is 2 to the 5. Therefore, W is 5 bits. Now to finish up, all we have to do is find S plus W bits, which are the number of bits required to uniquely identify each main memory address. Then we will subtract the word from it to get the tag. Main memory has 256 megabytes, which is 2 to the 8 by 2 to the 20, which is 2 to the 28. Therefore, S plus W is equals to 28 bits. The tag is S plus W minus W, which is 28 minus 5 equals 23. Therefore, the tag is 23 bits. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of fully associative mapping. It is more efficient than direct mapping since it reduces the amount of trashing. It is the more flexible technique since data can be stored anywhere in the cache. Complex circuitry required makes it more expensive. Slower access times due to the fact that each of the comparisons must be examined then the appropriate word to send to the processor must be selected. It also requires more chip space since one comparator is required for each line in the cache. Here are some questions you should be able to answer on fully associative mapping.